Yankee Dabbler, home of the Engineer Hall social media broadcast. Hello. You like scary movies? Well, not really. I'm not really into scary movies. I do like trains, though. Do you like trains? Um, well, what's your favorite scary movie? <sighs> well, again, you know, I'm not really into scary movies. I know one time my wife did put The Bachelor on during the train meet. That scared the heck out of me, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Oh, um, so you don't have a favorite scary movie? No, I do have a favorite steam engine. It's probably the Berkshire. What's yours? Scary movie? No, no, I mean like engine. You know, the E6 Atlantics are pretty cool as well. Do you like slasher films? Flashers? No, no. Although, I, I, you know, well, I mean, I guess you need some gates to make yours. But I'm more about the locomotives. Oh, come on! Are you a diesel fan? Look, I'm going to come after you. Yeah, uh, probably the six-wheel trucks would be my favorite types of diesels, you know. Uh, although the four-wheel trucks, you know, you can't discriminate, you know. I'm coming after you. And there's nothing you can. You like GP7s? Are you even listening to me? Yeah. All right, well, it sounds like you got a little angry. So I'm going to let you cool off, and i got to film a video now, so I will talk to you later, okay? okay hey, bye don't bye. hang up on me. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome back to Yankee Devil. Of course, every day is a train show. Today, we got some items, so hopefully, we'll find our way back on your layout. Let's go. So the first item that we had the show in our Halloween episode, of course, the only thing scary is that you miss out on these cars. It's got to be from N-Scale Land. We're going to take a look at these PS Triple Hoppers. Check out these bad boys because I love these uh, cars here. So I got a couple of different road names here. Of course, I had the Clinchfield. My personal favorite, of course, is the Great Northern. As a matter of fact, I saw that when we were in the Illinois Railway Museum. That's a cool car. We got the Burlington Northern. We got the Alaska wonder what area that's from uh the illinois i'm sorry the lnn rather louisville national and the dtni now these are awesome cars of course it has the great quality that you would expect from an atlas car here and let's take a look at the nice detail in there you got all the various writing on there and the neat thing about this is i have once again multiple different numbers to go with these cars so if you want to get a couple of different hoppers to go with your railroad well we got you covered here because there's a whole bunch of different ones for you now these enska hoppers retail for $24.95 but we're selling them here for $17.49 again the only thing scary about the show is if you miss out on these deals so coming to Yankee Dabbler get these uh, hopper cars on your railroad because I know you're really gonna love them our next car to show you on our spooky show here are these spine cars like on a skeleton spine get it all right maybe so take a look at these Bowser spine cars and these are awesome looking cars here now this is a three car spine car set and i have a bunch of different road names and numbers here all variety of the ttax now these are awesome detailed looking cars here i have the etched metal platforms here and of course i do have some assembly required there so i can put the various different hitches that i need in order to put my trailers on now these cars are complete with a shared truck there so as a matter of fact if i take this apart here let's see how do i take this apart here Boom, there you go. As you can see, I had the connection happening right there. So I put these on here, and these are really neat. So you have couplers after every three cars. I mean, this is a really neat set. And if you want to model something that is modern that you see on the rails today, I really like this set. I think you're really going to like it. Now, the retail for these cars is $129.95, but we're selling it here for $103.96. Great deal to get in these cars. As I said, I have a bunch of different variations. So come to Yankee Dabbler, get these cars rolling today, because once again, I think you're really going to love them. So a new item that we have here at Yankee Dabbler are these single system. I think our single guys can get into this. Well, our married guys can do it too as well. Check out these guys right here from Atlas here. This is the single starter uh, kit right there. So everything that you need to get going there, we have in that box here. Then I have a couple of different singles here, a couple of different versions here. I got the Type G head. Take a look at that. And that looks like a just a one happening there. But then here I have a double head as well for the G. That is cool. Then I have the bi-directional version. Then I have here a single modern version. Then I have a couple of different ones, including the left-hand version and the right-hand version. Let me get those out here. Those are really neat. And then, of course, I have here, uh, that looks like another right version. And then I have the double right and left-hand versions here as well. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of these in stock, so... Come go nuts, get a whole bunch of them. 
Then I have a couple of different things here, including the accessories that you hear, I have here. Of course, I had the extension cord module here. I had the circuit control boards. And then for end scale, we also got you guys covered as well. We had the end scale version of the starter kit here. And of course, the double heads here. We got a couple of those happening here. I also have some track light lighting happening here. And this is all for end scale. And of course, I have the HO version here as well. Now, all of these can be found on our website. Just type in the one that you're looking for, get the price that, you, uh, that we have for it, and make sure you get it on your leg. You know, we all focus on the trains, we all focus on the track work, but sometimes the accessories in the scenery don't get as much attention, but I think definitely you get these lights happening on your layout, it's gonna be the envy of all your friends. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get them today. You know, another item I wanted to talk about that I can't take out of the box because it is in a very nice display case here. So I don't want to ruin this for anyone that wants to buy it. But this is the Rapido uh, Day 1 Amtrak EMD E8. Eight. And this is a fantastic local locomotive if you're especially an early diesel fan and you want to represent the uh, day one appearance of Amtrak, make sure that you get this locomotive. It retails for $399, but we're selling it here for $349. We don't have many, so come to Yankee Dabbler and get that if that interests you. Hello? I'm outside and ready for you. Well, look, we're not open currently, so people these days, I'll tell you what. It's ridiculous. All day long, they just want to come in with, uh, you know, different types of, you know, I want my trains, I want my trains, I want my trains. This is all day, you know, whatever. All right, let's take a look at some more stuff. You want more cars? Well, I got more cars for you from Rapido, and these are incredibly detailed auto flood coal hoppers. I love these cars here. Take a look at them for yourself here. I have a multitude of different row names and different numbers as well there. I got the BNSF. I have here the PGNX. I have the KPLX. I got a really nice looking Union Pacific one here. I got the GATX. And then finally the CEFX. Now look at these cars and just how incredibly detailed they are here. Let's zoom in on this Burlington Northern Santa Fe if we look right here. So some of the things I really love this is I have metal couplers, which are great. I love the detailing, and each one of these cars has a different ending here with a different color scheme, which is really nice. The numbers are written there. I love all the various different warnings, and here's a neat little feature that they've added, too. So as you can see, I have the coal load here, but they actually include this wand, so if you want to be a magician this Halloween, put the wand there. Bam. Oh, that didn't work as well as I wanted it to. Let's try it again. So you got the wand there. Boom. Look at that. I mean, how cool is that? So now you can have an empty car train and then you go to your various culling plants and then you put it back in and you're good to go. So this is just a really, really awesome looking set here. I love these uh, cars here. I love the detail. As you remember, Rapido likes to put so much detailing in these cars, even in areas that you don't necessarily see, like the bottom of the train. I like the various colors on the roller caps there. I mean, these are just really cool cars here. Now, these cars retail for $59.95. We're selling them here for $53.95. And truthfully, it is worth it because these are heavy cars, too. There's a lot of weight happening in these cars. I love heavy trains because you don't have to worry about them derailing on your layout. You go at fast speeds with these things, have no issues. I mean, just look at all the writing there. These are just fantastic cars here. So once again, as I said before, the only thing scary about the show is if you miss out on these. So come to Yankee Dabbler, get these cars running on your rails today because you're going to love them. And here, bippity boppity. Yeah, I'm not good at this. Boo. <laughs> there you go. Let's try this again. Pause. And ready? Bippity boppity. Boo. Whoa, worked that time. Come get them. All right, so now time to show you a locomotive that I've been waiting a very long time to show you. One of my personal favorite steam locomotives. That is, of course, from Broadway Limited, the Pennsylvania Railroad E6 Atlantic. And I love this locomotive here. Now, of course, this is a 442 Atlantic here, and I have an in-service version here. Actually, I actually have a couple of different numbers for an in-service version here. This is the 393, but I love the look of this steam locomotive here. Most notably, I love the curtains that I have happening here as well as my favorite feature about these which is the keystone in the front I mean that is such a classic look and for our Pennsylvania Railroad fans out there that is the way you want your front of your locomotives to look but we also have one of the most 
famous E6 Atlantics, and that is this one right here. This is the Lindbergh Special number 460. And for those of you who don't know the history behind this locomotive, in uh, the 1900s, um, Charles Lindbergh was completing his transatlantic flight, and two rival uh, companies were trying to gather uh, the footage and get it developed so they can showcase in movie houses the newsreels of the event. Well, one company hired the Pennsylvania Railroad and created a car on the uh, actual train to develop the film, and they were actually the first ones to be able to uh, give their footage of the actual flight. So the 460 uh, was then known as the Lindbergh Special, and you actually still can see that locomotive today at the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. But these are such great looking locomotives. I love steam engines, and once again, this is one of my personal favorites, and once again, we're gonna run them, so all aboard. All right, I got that Lindbergh Special fired up, all right, so let's take a look at it. And as you can see, it's already starting to smoke a little bit here. I love the marker lights they have on the tender and on the pilot as well. Let's hear what the whistle sounds like. Bell? And away we go. It's a smoker. Tender. If you could zoom in a little bit on the tender there, I love it. It even has various different plates happening here. I mean, there is a tremendous amount happening here on this locomotive. As you can see here, I have a tremendous amount of plates happening right there. I mean, that is just really cool. I mean, neat little addition added to this piece here. One feature I want you to take a look at here before we uh, zoom out there, as you can see, I have lights happening in on the cab, and what's going to happen is as soon as the engine uh, takes off, those lights are going to turn off, so all aboard. Now arriving, the film of Charles Lindbergh, number 460. This is such a cool looking locomotive. I love this engine. I think you definitely need it. Now, I have a couple of different variations, including a couple of in-service versions. I had the Charles Lindbergh version. I actually had the way that it looks now at the Pennsylvania Railroad Museum with a gloss to it, all right? So all of those different variations can be found on our website. We are selling it. The retail value of this engine is $599.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $479.99. Of course, you go with sort of that engineer hall discount on there, get a little bit off of that. But I think it's a tremendous engine. If you're a Pennsylvania Railroad fan or, once again, just a, a fan of railroading history, history i think you definitely need this engine on your roster so come and get it today all right so hopefully a lot of you might get this in your trick-or-treat bag when you're out there i know i hope i usually do and usually disappointed but hey we could all dream can't we so let's take a look at these atherin diesel locomotives that we have here and i love these sd90 max from Athens here, I have the Union Pacific there, and of course, I don't think that one needs any further description. This is a great looking engine, but these need a little bit of talk, and these are actually Norfolk Southern purchase units that, of course, are being uh, not quite painted yet for Norfolk Southern, but they have the UP 
information crossed out or patched over. I really like this look about it too because if you take a look up here, you actually see a little bit of a weathering job here. So you can see the, fa uh, the paint is rather faded and tired on these units and they are being awaited to be painted for Norfolk Southern. And then of course I have that really nice Canadian Pacific engine. I think that is a great looking paint scheme. That one just pops out, especially compared to these Union Pacifics. I really like that uh, red and gold and white paint scheme there. That is an awesome looking design there. Now these locomotives retail for $349.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $297.49. I don't think you want to see them, Ron, right? You know, Engineer Hall, do we want to see them go? Of course you got to see it go. Well, we saw the steam engine, and you know, I think we're good right hey frank yes sir you want to see engines run absolutely there we go all right well i guess i'm outnumbered here let's take a look at what these diesel locomotives look like all aboard so we're going to make our cp friends very happy here and we're going to run this sd90 canadian pacific mac here we go cool Let's hear the horn. And the bell. And away we go. Yeah, let's pick up some spine cars. Ah, so close. Hand of God shows up here. Here we go. Well done. Now arriving, train number 9139. Oh, Canada. That's a great looking engine, and truthfully, I think you need that engine and the cars to go with it because of this looks perfect. All right, so once again, that locomotive sells for $349.99. We're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $297.49. So it's an awesome diesel, and if you want to add on to your diesel fleet, look no further than these SD90 Max. Well, I want to thank you very much for watching our show here. Let's do a little recap of all the things that we saw today, of course, right here from this box. I wish I could take this out for you, but I want to keep it in the box for anyone that wants to get it. This is that Repito EMD EA8. Repito does a great job with their items, and I know you're not going to be disappointed with that. I have these SD90 Max. Of course, I had the two Union, um, the Norfolk Southern versions that they have bought, the Union Pacific and the Canadian Pacific. I got from Bowser. I have those spine cars here. And then for Rapido, I have those uh, Auto Flood Coal Hoppers. Then from Broadway Limited, I had those E6 Atlantics. And one last thing, I forgot the uh, slide over here. Sorry, end scalers. We had those Atlas Hoppers there, and those are really cool looking cars as well. Now, all of these items and more can be found on our website, yankeedabbler.com. So whatever you're looking for, type in the search bar, get it in your cart, and we'll ship it and get it to you as fast as we possibly can. I want to thank you very much for subscribing to Engineer Hall. And of course, if you haven't done it, you just click that button. You get caught up on all the latest and greatest videos that we have here that, you know, we're approaching fall. Uh, we're in the fall now. Winter is going to be coming up soon. We're going to get ramped up with the videos. We're going to put a lot of stuff in. And of course, holiday times, we're all thinking about trains, although most of us, we think about it all the time. We're going to conclude with this week's RailFam video. We're actually going to take a look at a mail um, pickup that the Illinois Central Railroad did with their Decapod. And it's a really neat sequence. So you're going to see that they came with their RPO car. They scooped up the mail bag and they dropped off one just like in the olden days. So enjoy that RailFan video. I finally found... Is that the new Broadway Limited E6 Atlantic Lindbergh Special? Yeah, I have that version, and then I also have the glossy version as well.
Oh, can, are they still available? I do. I have a couple upstairs. Would you like to get some? Yes, please. All right. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to take care of my uh, friend here. I'll see you guys later. All right. Take care, everyone. Now, do you have any uh, Pennsylvania stuff already?